Hello everybody and welcome back to Coldborough Park Farm. This is another multiplayer video. We've actually been doing a multiplayer video two weeks in a row now, which is pretty good for me because usually I don't have the time to be able to get the server up. Uh, so loads of people are commenting in the chat. Um, I try and reply to them, although it is incredibly hard to at the same time as recording a video. So uh, I do apologise, first of all, if I ignore a lot of your questions and comments. So. What I'm hoping to do today, actually, is, well, we're just going to wait for it to get light, first of all. But, uh, yeah, I'd like to do some bailing. And you may immediately think, hang on, wait, bailing in multiplayer? With 16 players, is that really a good idea? Well, the answer is yes and no, really. It is a good idea, providing the bales are picked up straight away and then sold. If they're taken somewhere weird by a player and tipped, it would cause mayhem. So I'm hoping it's going to go to plan. If it doesn't, I can just reset the game. But yeah, it's a bit of a, an issue if it uh, does uh, cause a bit of lag. So yeah, I don't think there's anything I can really do here until it's daytime. Same with everybody else. I can see in the chat there, Irish Agri Farmer is waiting for the daylight before he works starts work. Um, which makes perfect sense because it is very dark. And if I didn't have my torch on, yeah, <laughs> you can't see a lot at all. Uh, right, okay, so I'm not sure what Farmer Pickles is doing. He seems to have got himself into a bit of a pickle. You have a very fitting name, Farmer Pickles. Ah, it's a challenger. Well, yes. We'll let them sort themselves out and we will return at about 6am. Somebody fed the skid steer loader to the cows. Yeah, I'm not an experienced farmer, but top tip to the person who did this, I don't think cows like eating metal. I, just, just something about it. I, it just doesn't look like their cup of tea. Just a tip for you. Okay, so yeah, it's not 6am, it's actually half past 8. A little bit of a oversleep there. Not to worry, uh, because what we're going to be doing is buying a baler. Something which I must remember to sell again later. Uh, otherwise there is going to be no end of lag. Because what happens is I record these videos and then I tend to stay in the server but go AFK, but then keep checking every now and then to make sure everything's going okay. But it's amazing how quickly the thing can get wrecked. It really is surprising. So I'm going to buy this baler, and we're probably going to lease these, but we'll lease about three. No, I mean yes. <laughs> um, so that we can, of course, get a, a group of people, players, to help along. Because we need to get these bales picked up straight away. Um, while I'm doing this, I probably should read some of those comments which are in the chat. Seems to be quite a few of them. Okay, so yeah, Dagoin, I'm really looking forward to the West Coast map series. Oh, so am I. That map is going to be absolutely amazing. Um, Ross Bossman says, My friend is waiting for a slot to open and he says, There is four Dagoin servers up now. The real one and three fake ones. It is true. It, it really is. Um, the fake ones are a big problem, but there's nothing I can really do about it, unfortunately. Um, just quickly reply. And Farmer Finn says, Dagwin, can you give us a spoiler for the next PGR Brusda? <laughs> nice spellings. Uh, map video. Um, I, can, I can give you a spoiler in this video. It's not really a spoiler, though, because it's pretty obvious. We are continuing with the fish farm. There you go. I have said everything I need to say. So, yeah, it looks like we've already picked up some helpers without me even saying anything. Top work from this lot here. Oh, great. Good driving there, Dagwin. Good job it's not the realistic series. It's just multiplayer. Uh, yeah, the traffic is switched on. I think that's a good thing. Because then we've got some more carnage that can happen. <laughs> if nobody looks when they're pulling out, like me, just then, pull out straight in front of a car. Um, John Deere, nice name, very unique, says, um, I need a small bucket at the BJ chaff down side. Oh, right, the chaff down the side spilt. Um, I, I thought there was a bucket, actually. I think that's for the wheel loader. The biggest concern with doing this is if you buy too much stuff, you create lag. Ah, oh, do we have a windrow? I hope we do. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> I've just been commenting and they're behind me. Every time I comment, I stop. They think I'm brake checking them. No. Sorry. 
How many D's do you have in your name? I think I overdid it. This can be a good starting field. We may require... Mary? We may require a rower. I'm trying to get in here. It's just too tight to turn in. This is some top driving today. Clearly I've been practicing my skills. I'm being sarcastic. Welsh Farming 1. You're oh. Oh, crikey. This isn't going to plan. One second. I can solve this issue by doing that. There you go. And, yeah, we must buy their bucket. Um, there is your bucket. Uh, you're right. So, yeah, can I have a buck rate for the wheel loader? I think there's already quite a few of them, actually. It's a shame you can't hear me when I'm doing this, because <laughs> typing every time does slow things down quite a bit. This does need to be rowed up first, though. Do we have a rower? Do we have a rower? Let me see. I may be a bit slow today because I'm trying to read the comments at the same time. Yes, we do. And maybe somebody already coming, but... Oh, the tower. That field. What field is this? 20? Ah, here it is. Good. Uh, Ken has brought a trailer, probably going somewhere else to a combine or something. I was going to do some uh, straw baling, but then I thought, you know what, what we could do is, well, technically, this is a silage bale, despite it not being wrapped. Although, would it class it as a silage bale? Because it's not hay. I think it would sell it as silage, but we'll have to see. Um, yes, the rower is here. Um, you don't think it's the real Dagwin? Oh dear. Jack, you will be in tomorrow's video. That's the problem. You can't prove that it's the real server. They just have to take your word for it, really. Um, Alright. We can begin. And although three um, auto stackers may look like a bit too much, I think it's actually going to be just right. Because obviously they've got to cart. I must tell them, actually. There we go. It's creating it very fast. So we should be having many bales coming out of here. I reckon I did get the right auto stackers. That would be something if I went and did all that and then discovered that I bought the wrong auto stackers. I think that is a good question. Where is the bale sell point? I think it's over in the yard over there. I'll have to reply to him when I understand the exact location of it. Um, it's over near Chantry Farm. Oh, it's actually in Chantry Farm. There we go, finally, the texture has updated. It's a big problem, that. I don't know why it takes so long for it to update, because in Farming Simulator 15, it's instant, as if you're in single player. But in multiplayer, look, like there, I've already picked that up, but it is still there. It's weird. What did that say? Uh, Dagwin, can you get a second rake for me in the middle one? Yep. This is going to be a lot of stop starting. Probably really frustrating everybody behind me. Um, but yeah, what can we do? <laughs> I've got to keep replying to people and buying stuff. So that's at the store. Irish Agri Farmer is cracking on well here. Now I do actually do a lot of grass work usually in multiplayer. But I've never done baling before. So this is a different take on it. Usually we just have either the forage harvester or the loading wagon doing it and yeah this is a better approach just for a different type of video Got some good bales on there certainly three auto stackers is enough but I, I do think it is going to be the perfect number if somebody has to wait then well it's not too much of an issue oh where is this road up to I'm going to have to keep waiting you see the annoying thing is as well it may have already updated to some people behind me I don't know if it does update at different times, but if I just keep randomly stopping and it's rowed up, they're going to think I'm really weird. But at least you can see, if you're watching this video, at least you can see that it is not updating for me straight away. Uh, I suppose actually what we could do is just keep following the central swath, because that's where it's going to. It's just going to here. It is technically there. Oh, 
here, here. <laughs> Stay in line. Big problems. It does make for bad viewing, actually. It's very confusing. Ah, oh, good. That piece is updated. I suppose we could get two balers. It's just... I don't know if we're going to have issues with uh, the stacking of bales. It really needs to go straight into the cell point. Um, comments. Silage fork. Silage fork? I thought we had, yeah, we do. We already have loads of silage forks. I'm sure we do. Am I annoying somebody? Possibly. We probably should just wait a second for this to update because it is becoming a little bit of a nuisance. Oh, Ken. Zooming. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to say this is uh, probably one of my favourite case tractors. It's the 300 Optum CVX. Let me just check that. Yes, it is. Good. <laughs> Feeling smug with myself there because I didn't really know the model number. I just guessed it. <laughs> it's my favourite case, but I had to guess the number. A uh, bit of good luck anyway there. Could have been wrong. It's uh, mainly because I knew that I'd used this on Farming Simulator 15 and I knew it was a nice tractor then, it was a mod. But this is the base game tractor, it's very nice. Maybe two balers wouldn't go amiss, I think we probably will rent one. Um, the, the only issue is, if everybody's following me, and somebody else is producing bales, they're going to be dropping them on the ground, and then it's going to be an accumulation of an awful lot of bales, which can cause a lot of lag and a lot of issues. Because every new bale that's produced is a brand new object to go into the i3D um, file, which means that the more stuff you have, the more power it's going to take to run. And you know what? I've never done it before, I don't think, but I think we should do a time lapse in multiplayer. So I will see you when this field is completed. Right, well that is the first field done, um, I'm assuming we're going to be into another one, because what we want to do really is try and fill up every auto stack for a screenshot. Ah, I've just emptied my contents, the baler's contents that is, uh, one each, <laughs> they can take a bale each. Ah, here we go, so we're going to have two balers on the go over here, um, I, like I say, I just hopefully it's just not going to get too laggy. Some people have already complained about lag, but not an awful lot I can do about it. Unfortunately. So, we're going to continue again. And then hopefully, very soon we're going to have enough for a screenshot. Wow, Farmer Finn. That was some speed. Ah, we could actually go through here. This has been cut. It keeps us out of the way and it's not having to update all the time. It's already done. Well, it's partially done. 
Yeah. That is... I didn't reset it. It's still in there. I should probably reset the skid steer. It's got a bucket, so we better reset the bucket too. Um, let's go on to here. Skid steer. I don't even know how you get it in there. I suppose it's been put in there with a loader. And then the bucket for it. Keep clicking, spam left click. Ah, oh, talking of spamming left click. Is that for this? Hmm, not sure actually. Well, yeah, it is. Apparently some of the players have been spamming left click for two hours trying to get into the server. I dread to think what that feels like, but that shows dedication. At least that's reset. And also we've actually split up the team. Some of the team has stayed in that field over there with Ken's bailer. And yep, I've got one over here with another bailer. When all of the auto sackers are full though, yep, we need to get the screenshot done. And then they can go and sell. One big sell in one load. Yeah, so this field's only been partially done. Partially rowed up. So this is probably a good time for me to say. Uh, what do you think of having the server open one day a week? Obviously it's not ideal. Uh, a few reasons. One is because you can't just go and play on it any time you want. Because I have to be in the server. And also other countries such as Australia or New Zealand, that kind of area. I think it's the middle of the night for them, so I, I'm very sorry about that to them, but I will try and get it open during your evening time, I suppose it'll be. So afternoon time, mid-afternoon, lunch time for me. The situation isn't ideal, but it's just the way it has to be, I'm afraid. Ah, oh, getting so many requests to buy stuff. We can't really keep buying stuff, because it's going to create lag. And we already do have a lot of stuff anyway, so it's not really necessary. Is that almost full? That one is almost full. I am missing a lot here. That seems to be everything that's been rowed up. So I'll resume work in this field here, if there is space for us. Ah, oh, there is. Good. So this field has been rowed up as well. So if we just take a random swath... We will work in here. The team is still following. Wow, that is steep for that JCB. Yeah. Why does Farming Simulator do that to the word diesel in the chat? It thinks it's a swear word. Is it the word die? Seems a little extreme. But yeah, I suppose if someone was saying go and die or something, that is not nice. So, yes, I can understand it. Oh no, the word die is there! What? So the word sell? <laughs> sell? Okay. Um, yeah, maybe there is another word in there which I haven't noticed. So that is one loaded, fully. Uh, there's already been one sold. And this will finish off this field, so that's two fields done. Another one there which needs to be rowed up. Uh, looks like the odd bits are being picked up by fire by trial. Dago and we should get animals. Yeah, possibly. It just takes a lot of looking after. If the team is dedicated to do it, then yep, we can do. The forestry equipment is still in there. How am I going to get around this bend? Oh, it is possible, just about. But it hasn't been rowed up. Where have the windrows gone? <laughs> Where are they? Weird. Oh, they're over there in field 22. That's probably a better field to do anyway. Because you're so dedicated to enter the field, there are two bells for you. It is a present. I have pooed a bale. Right, so we're just taking a tour through the yard. I think the other baler is here, but there are two windrowers, I believe. So that baler can only follow one. <laughs> Some people are having issues with lag. That was a very devious laugh or chuckle. 
I mustn't do that again. What does everybody think to the forestry? Shall we do it again in a future video? Or was it something you wouldn't really want to see? I know forestry is one of those things where you either love it or hate it. At least that's what it feels like when I do a video of forestry. Very mixed reactions really. Is this road up? I think it is, it's just not updated. I'll just wait a second, as usual. There we go. That is really annoying. I'm going to jump cut because I know there's been a lot of bailing in this video. And then hopefully we'll be much closer to getting the screenshot done with the three um, different auto stackers. Wow, that is a big pile of grass. Okay, it's just gone. It's here now. The teleporting grass is back. Rapid bail making. Okay, good. We've just done the screenshots, which obviously you've already seen. Uh, I was going to put the third auto stacker in the shop, but unfortunately there wasn't really any space for it. So yeah, I just managed to uh, keep it out of it. No, no thanks. I'm going to go and find a different job to do. The bales can be sold. Brilliant. So, yes, I don't know if we're going to be doing any more baling. We'll give the baler to somebody else. I think Heapsterizer has taken it. Um, but I'm, what I am going to do is go over to the bale sell point, which I think is down here, if I am not mistaken. Very close to the sheep. I remember this because when, we, when the Coon DLC first came out, I had to do some bailing in that exact field just there, actually. And yes, I brought them over to here. This is the sell point. So hopefully, this is all going to go to plan when the stackers turn up. I'm not too sure where the stackers are. There is... Is it Addy or Addy? I'm not too sure. But there are so many people... Hello in this vicinity that, uh, yeah, you can't really read the names anymore. Ah, Welsh Farming 1, that's an auto stacker. So is Olis or Olis 9 and Adi. Adi, -E. yeah. So, the congestion moves to the yard. Away from the field and into the yard. I think I'll jump cut while we sort this out. Ah, the first one has broken through. Welsh Farming 1 is here. This is the sell point for anybody who isn't aware of it. Oh no, synchronizing. Okay, well, I'm trying to jump out. I'm not too sure why, but I've just taken the auto stacker. Uh, so now we can do this. We'll get it going. So to do this, we have to go into Y. You have to press Y to unfold it. Obviously, we've already got a seller here. Selling many bales. And actually, what we probably should do is tip this up too late now, but what we should have done is tip it up in the barn, because otherwise there may not be enough clearance. It's very tight. Do you want it back? Oh, more synchronizing. That means many people have left. Oh, okay. It doesn't want it, so we'll sell it. Oh. Wow, that lifted up the front of the tractor. I must have hit the roof. That's what I was worried about. But if we press Y again, there it is. And then hopefully I can just ram it into there, hopefully, when the table is lowered. Good. I have no idea how much money I just produced, but it was something. Let me get out of the way. Well, this is manic. So I think as we're in this tractor, we may as well do some auto stacking, just a tiny bit of it, just to finish off with. Um, yeah, this field is already growing. It must have been cut for some time. But there are plenty of bales to pick up. So, let's begin. Oh, did anybody see how much the money went up by just then? Because I think that was another auto stacker load. Must have been quite a bit. Who is blasting their horn? 
I've just noticed it. Just this annoying sound in the back of my head. Should I say the side of my head? It's in my headphones. But it is behind us. Farmer Pickles. In a pickle. Yes, I think this tractor is actually not really the most suitable one since it isn't that powerful. Some of you have wondered why I use just a 12 hour clock time, like 10 instead of 2200 hours. It's really because I put PM and AM and to be honest I do find it a little bit easier when it comes to telling everybody the time. But yeah, either way, it doesn't really matter. Oh, right. Some people thought that I meant it's open from 5 till 6. No, that's the time it opens. But it opens at different times every week. Uh, but it usually will be a Sunday. I think actually it may be again next Sunday. We'll be doing multiplayer. So obviously I'll put a video out to tell you. But yeah, chances are it will be. So is that everything done? We've got 12 bales on here. Oh wow, it's already being cut again. Or maybe not. Now we've got to make our way back out of here again. Who is blasting their horn? Who is it? Who is it? I wish it had a little symbol which appeared next to their name when they're blasting their horn, like ETS2 multiplayer. It's behind me. It's, it's you, isn't it, Addy? Or is it not? I mustn't falsely accuse. I can't tell. It's somebody. Horn spammers. Right. This can be the final load. And I think actually it's going to be the final uh, little thing for this video. Oh, thank you, Oscar. Ah, oh, now I've started it. Bit of horn blasting. This isn't full, but it's full enough. At least this time it won't be too uh, tall. And there is a bale in there which hasn't sold. It is very chaotic, has to be said. Okay, so again, we'll just nudge it back. Simple. I'll leave it here. Well, not right here. Just in this area. So that somebody else can take it. Look at that chaos over there. I say that just as I crash into the front of, uh, yes, Ad Addy. That's really going to bother me, actually. Addy or Azzi, if you are watching this video, please, can you clarify the pronunciation of your name? In case you're playing again, and I just keep calling you Addy. Because it may be wrong and insulting. But yes, that is it from me and everybody else on the server. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. There was a lot of bailing, but it seems to have gone fairly well. Until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.